Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to set up a CI CD pipeline which will deploy my code directly on the Raspberry Pi. So whenever I'll check in my code, immediately continuous uh, build will trigger and it will deploy my code on my Raspberry Pi. So in this video, we are going to set up this whole pipeline. Let's get started. Okay, so first step is create a build pipeline and in that case I'm going to, I'm using uh, Azure DevOps. So in the Azure uh, DevOps, go to pipeline and create new pipeline. Uh, my code is Azure itself, so Azure itself, and this is my repository, selecting this repository. And that is it, uh, it will create a, a pipeline that is I have to save. The next step is connecting the connection with the docker so i'll go to uh, connection uh, project setting in project setting i have a uh, get uh, connections service connection new service connection in service connection i'm going to use the docker registry not the docker host docker registry Next is Docker ID. I'm going to use my Docker ID. 1971979. And then uh, Docker password. Here, uh, Docker password will not work. We have to create a personal access token. So I'm going to use the uh, access token which I created some time back. So probably this is the. Um, I'm pushing this one. This is email optional. I don't want to do that. And I'm using my Docker repo too. I did this thing before also. So you can see in the, my list that there's already two repository created. It is pointing to the same uh, Docker repository. But for the ex uh, example purpose, I'm creating again. I don't need anything. Uh, just save. That is it. Okay, so let's go back to our pipeline and come back to our pipeline, add it, and now we have to add this detail as a task. So I'm using assistant here, I'm going to use Docker. in docker container registry is this one i'm using second one the registry is simple my registry is p1979 as the users and test web app and uh, commands is always be build and push i'm going to use the docker file because you know my code i've created the docker file file we already seen before and here i'm going to use the latest and next step, we'll run this build pipeline and see if our code is going to the Docker or not. So run it. Job is running. It's queued. Let's see if it is running or not. Okay, started build, build successful. So let's go back and check if the build, okay, build is successful. Let's check the Docker. Let's go to my repository, my profile. And do we have a repository? See, see updated a minute ago. So it is already published. Okay, next step is very important for this setup to work. We want Azure to uh, download and run the build on Raspberry Pi and create the container and start the container. All this process has to be done by Azure Pipeline on the Raspberry Pi, which is my personal device. 
so we must have some connection between raspberry pi and uh, azure pipeline or azure devops so in that case we have to download and install one agent on raspberry pi so let's see how we can do that so first we have to go to deployment group and here we have to add a deployment group give any name create and it will create one script give you a script which will have to run on the machine where we want to build this uh, agent so first is uh, windows we we have a again a linux one so we select the linux but this is a linux for 8x x86 machine or x64 machine uh, but our raspberry pi is arm 64 bit so in that case we will uh, copy and replace this x here with arm so again we select this one copy the script go to the notepad will will come here replace this x with arm arm control this and now we'll connect to raspberry pi um, let's remove this we'll move from here raspberry pi okay so we will just run this script here it will create a folder AG, AZ agent and run this whole code there. So this whole process will take uh, approximate five minutes. So we'll come back after a five minute is done. Okay, so build is almost uh, completed. It is installed as your pipeline connecting to the server. Once it is done, we have to enter one important part which is uh, the tag that is very important when we are running the build we need to provide that tag to the release pipeline so here enter the deployment group name so i'm going to enter uh, pi for deploy oh sorry yeah i have to enter I'm just going to give one one tag that is enough so this is the important one we have to remember this one so next time when we create when we are going to create a release pipeline we need to provide that one okay so this is all run completed so we can ch go and check if the deployment group is running or not so we'll go back and see our agent is online it will see one is online and we haven't used it we haven't deployed anything yet so this process is completed to releases okay create a new release pipeline new pipeline and in that pipeline we have to select the So we first we have to add the artifacts. So let's close it and come back, add artifact fact, and it will always be build. As soon as build is completed, project test web app and select the test. Okay, test web app is the source and latest version, always be latest, and then this is alias I'm giving you here, add and then stages. Stages will be a deployment group job. We will create empty job and give it a name. Um, raspberry Raspberry Pi deployment event empty save. Okay, so we'll come back here 
go to task and here agent job so first we have to create one agent here add a deployment group job and give it a name i'm keeping it like this and deployment group is agent i'm using the agent raspberry by agent the tags okay it is the important part where we using the tags which we created this one so this is the tag we creating uh, putting here and okay so let's click on uh, this one uh, we have to add command line command line add in this we'll giving the name first we are logging to the docker and here will be command docker login user p1979 and password that will be our personal access token two different tasks in our release pipeline deployment group jobs these four tasks are logging to the docker Let's see and then we are stopping the current image and that current image is means it will search for image with this uh, name and stop all of them then it will pull that image from the docker hub and then deploy the image where it will run the it will map a port 80 on container with the port 80 5000 on the machine and it will run the job first we will make sure that our raspberry pi is running or not so i'm connecting to raspberry pi Okay, it is connected. So it is uh, our Raspberry Pi is on. We'll go to deployment group. We'll check if the Raspberry Pi agent is on. It is on. So let's start the build pipeline. So let's start uh, this build pipeline. Run the pipeline and run. The pipeline started running. We'll go to the build so it is started it will take almost a minute so let's uh, wait for this to finish the build pipeline is finished it is has pushed the image to docker now we'll check if release pipeline is started or not the release pipeline is started so here the release pipeline and the build is queued okay the release 7 is successful it is success now let's check the portal it is showing this now what we are going to do we are doing going to do this change in this title and what is expecting that as soon as we change the title push the code back to uh, repository the build should automatically start and start and this change should deploy on the raspberry pi so let's get started with the studio visual studio for mac i'll start the application make some changes and push the changes to okay this is our in index page and I'm changing this to my full name save it version control and commit this is one file is changed and I'm committing and push and I'm pushing the change
push changes see if it is pushing okay pushed changes are already pushed let's come to as we uh, build minimize it let's come to the build pipeline and right now see the build is running so if you see changes raspberry pi <coughs> changes for raspberry pi deployment build is going on same thing it's going to take one minute approximately this build pipeline will take almost one minute and approximate same time it will take by the release pipeline so build is completed image is pushed to the docker let's see release pipeline if it starts or not okay release is started and release 8 is running we keep refreshing it okay the deployment is completed let's see if the changes coming uh, are coming in the raspberry pi or not so i'm refreshing the page okay so we we'll, we can see the our changes are there so we just checked in the code and automatically uh, job build and release uh, job run deploy the code to the raspberry pi please subscribe my channel and share and provide comments how did you like this thank you for watching and see you for next time